Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. Welcome to another part of my how-to series. Thank you so much for watching the first part. Now I've got so much great feedback from that video. Many of you said that you wasn't aware that Astonish had a product to descale the kettle with. So I was so glad that I was able to share that with you and share that knowledge with you of how to descale your kettle very quickly and very efficiently as well. So I've got another how-to video for you today and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to clean your blinds. Now we've got wooden blinds here in the front of our house and also at the back of the house. I've already cleaned that side of the window so I thought I'll do this one on camera and make it part of my series of how to. So I know many of you have wooden blinds or metal blinds or even like the wooden shutters in your homes and they can be a bit of a nightmare to clean. So when we first got these, the first couple of months of having them, I discovered that dust really does build up on them if you don't clean them regularly. So we live quite close to open fields. The windows have got like little vents in them. So little particles of dust, really fine dust, comes through the vents and settles onto the blinds. So I've made cleaning the blinds part of my weekly cleaning routine. So I'll go through room by room and just give them a good dust down and a good clean. And I thought I'd just share with you what I do to keep my blinds clean, okay? So I've got some items that I'm gonna be using, some regular everyday cleaning products and also one item which I use to clean my blinds with. And I've gotta say, it's an absolute game changer. It's a genius idea and I'm sharing it with you right here on my channel. So if you guys like to see how I clean my blinds or how to clean your blinds, please keep watching. So these are the items I'm going to be using today to clean the blinds with. So I would recommend that you use a vacuum cleaner with a soft brush um, attachment to it. Also, you're gonna need some wipes. I've got some baby wipes and I've also got some bathroom wipes. Okay, these are just optional. And I'm going to be using this product by Method. This is their multi-surface cleaner in the French lavender scent. I recommend using any cleaning product that you have lying around as long as it doesn't contain any bleach. Now I'm using the Method products because they're just really quite gentle on um, the product, like on the wooden blinds. And I would also recommend not using anything with like any kind of colour in it. So any colour that's going to transfer onto your blinds. And you're going to need a spray bottle of some sort with some water in it, just plain water in it. I've also got a sock, an odd sock. I've got a whole bag of odd socks just here. And I do tend to use these for dusting down and cleaning. And they're absolutely brilliant for cleaning blinds with. So I'm going to be focusing on these blinds in my bedroom here today. And if I bring you in a little bit closer, you can see that fine dust has built up onto the blinds on all the slats of the blinds okay so that is why i'm going to be using the vacuum cleaner so that was the fine particles of dust that i mentioned earlier and it really bothers me you know when i open the blinds and i see that on there i'm like oh my goodness i better get the vacuum out and start cleaning these blinds so i've got my vacuum ready i'm just using the handheld part of it but you can use any kind of vacuum if you don't have a vacuum cleaner you could opt for a microfiber cloth like dampen it a little bit and then just um, wipe the slats individually. But the reason why I like to use the vacuum cleaner is because I know that I'm gonna collect all the dust inside the little reservoir here and it's not gonna go anywhere else around the room. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna close the blinds and I've got them in a downwards position. So I'm going to use this soft brush, um, this soft attachment brush um, onto the vacuum cleaner and this is gonna help to collect all the dust particles on the blinds and I'm going to vacuum in a downwards position as well, okay? So here goes. <laughs> So I've just finished vacuuming the blinds in the downwards position. Now I'm just gonna switch the blinds 
into the upward position and do the same but this time I'm going to be vacuuming in the upwards position. <laughs> As you saw while I was doing that I'm doing it very gently okay this is why I'm using this brush because I don't want to break the blinds they've got like tape going down the middle of it and then also on each side of them so it's best always best to use a soft attachment to your vacuum cleaner so that's both sides of the blinds vacuumed so I've taken away most of the dust now I've got to say this vacuum reservoir I emptied it before I started doing this and there is little bits of dust in there which I've collected from the blinds okay so that's what I'm talking about those little particles that just go everywhere okay so next you're just gonna open up the blinds so it's in a horizontal position and I've just put my sock onto my hand as you can see like that I've got a whole bag of odd socks and this is what I tend to use them for okay so it's absolutely a game changer. It's perfect, it's the perfect item to clean your blinds with. These socks act as a kind of like a magnet. I'm just gonna run my hands across the blinds, like so, to take off any of the extra dust that might be left on the blinds. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of dust still left after vacuuming. So I'm just gonna spray the glove with some of this multi-surface cleaner, a couple of sprays onto the glove in like the palm area of the glove okay and then I'm going to spray a little bit of water just to dilute it down and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to go through each of the slats on the blind open it like so so I'm doing the top of the blind and I'm also doing the bottom in one wipe and there is probably going to be some dust particles left over from when I just vacuumed you know this is why I tend to just spray the glove I'm calling it a glove. This is why I tend to dampen the sock with those products just so the dust particles can attach themselves to the sock and not go anywhere else in the room. Okay, so I'm going to start from the top and then work my way down. So I'm halfway down the blinds and as you can see there is little bits of dust still on the on the sock um, but it's actually embedded in the sock with that um, product that I just showed you so again you can use any product as long as it hasn't got any bleach in it anything too harsh because you don't want to discolor your blinds especially if you've got the white ones you know just try to keep to water even just water on its own will do the job I just like to add a little bit, bit of that um, method product in there as well okay so nothing too harsh nothing too harsh guys and all you need is a sock So I've just put my hand in that kind of position and I'm just running it across the blind like so. Also what I find by using this sock method for cleaning the blinds it actually does two in one so it's given your blinds an extra dust down and also a good clean which means it saves you a lot of time it saves you time and if you do this method at least once a week and add it to your weekly cleaning routine you're good to go so if you leave the dust to build up this job can take a lot longer you know I'm just showing you the quick and easiest way 
of doing things around your home in my how-to videos, okay? And it's just using very limited amount of products, using things that you have around your house already. You don't have to rush off to the shops to get anything special. You know, I know I spoke about the vacuum attachment, but to be fair, most vacuums come with those attachments anyway, you know? So my blinds are looking absolutely clean. There's not one particle of dust on them. You know, I just absolutely love this method of using the sock is just absolutely brilliant. So guys, we come to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I love to have you on board and love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And subscribe for more videos like this. I really hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you haven't seen part one of my how-to series, I will link it in the description box below. So do share my videos with your friends and family who you feel may can benefit from my videos, especially these how-to ones, you know? Cleaning the blinds can be such a tedious job that we tend to put on the back burner. So I really hope you got some inspiration from this video today. And do let me know in the comments if you have blinds in your home, how you're cleaning them at the minute, and if this video has inspired you to switch from what you're already doing and just get a spare sock with some cleaning products on it and then wipe away to get your blinds dust free and clean just like I did in today's video. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Take care, keep well, and I shall see you very soon on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.